Welcome to driver training. Today you'll be taken through the operation of a BR146.2 electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction, we'll go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. In normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead catenary via a pantograph. However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, we have to power the initial systems by priming the auxiliary battery. The pantograph mode will need to be set before it can be raised. Set the pantograph selector to automatic. Set the exterior lights for normal operation. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. With power available, use the reverser to activate the control desk and turn on the multifunctional displays. We will need to wait for the brake system to charge. Now activate the pantograph so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead catenary. The reverser determines the direction of travel. Take a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Time to get going. Set the doors to locked. We will now cover traction locking and how to recover the train. A traction lock can come into effect in several different ways. If power is applied whilst the brakes are still applied, a traction lock will be engaged. Another instance of where this happens is if power is applied whilst the passenger doors are still unlocked. To simulate a traction lock, we will first need to move the train brake into full service. Next, we'll need to apply some power to engage the traction lock system. The traction lock has now been triggered. This is represented on the HUD by the red outline on the power display. To recover from a traction lock, we need to ensure that power is not being applied. Set the throttle to the off position. Finally, we need to make sure that the train brake is set to the running position. Nice job, the traction lock has now been disengaged and we are able to continue the journey. This train is ready to go, use the throttle to apply some power and get moving.
Posting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping the speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of brake by using the train brake. You are now approaching the first stop. Use the train brake to apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable and safe stop.
for work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train.